We had a club that was called the Sapphire Club. We got together once a month at a restaurant, had dinner, and so forth. And this idea came through those sessions. We got jabbering away about, you know, we talk audio techni technicalities all the time. And I don't know whether it was C.J. LaBelle or, or someone of his stature who said, you know, we really ought to open this kind of thing to everybody who's interested in audio. So we formed a committee of ten people. C.J., myself, Chet Rackey, John Colvin, Al Pulley, uh, you know, people who were deeply involved in audio. And we started to structure uh, an organization. I think we set out a, a, a mailing or, or a general announcement to the trade that this was going to happen. We got a tremendous response. I was the first secretary and I had to keep track of the membership list and the dues and various other things and you bet your life it grew fast. In fact, I think I was secretary for three years and in that three year period, I think we got up to 1,500 members. Uh, that number sort of sticks in my head. That was a lot of people to keep track of. We didn't have computers, you know. We did it all by hand. <laughs>